M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So you have a Zygu G90 and you want to have a go at the digital modes. And one of the items you can get that go between the radio and the PC is called a CE19. And it looks like this and they're quite inexpensive. There are more expensive devices you can buy, but all of them really are, are, are you know, are, require a learning curve. So well, this is the one I've gone for. It was only about £30 delivered. It comes with these three green leads, audio leads, and a cat cable there, which goes to your radio. I know it says X5105 here, but it will do the G90. So the best instructions that I have found when I'm looking are these ones here by Digital Shack. And so what he talks about, the first thing is to familiar, familiarize yourself with the kind of cable that he's using, which is what they call the tip, ring, and sleeve table. So you've got the tip, the ring, and the sleeve. Uh, this is the cable that he's using. So if we scroll down, it talks about cutting the end off the cable and then creating these two connect two more two cables. One is the AF out and one is the AF in. And he does describe in detail how you're going to use a multimeter to detect which one to connect. So for example, here he's got number one, which he calls uh, is the shield. So when you do a con continuity test. You're testing it between number one and number one and same goes here as well on the two cables then the number three here which he calls the tip now these are the these are the tips here remember and then we've got the ring and the sleeve this is the really important thing to remember tip ring sleeve so we'll go back down so the tip is number three and it looks like it's going to is it a white wire now obviously your colors might be different well, you can do a continuity test, can't you, uh, to check. So each cable has got three three wires. And then we get a look at number two, which is the ring. Let's just double check. Is the ring. And then you're doing, and it's described here very carefully, place a probe on the main sleeve, sleeve one, and place the other on AF outer sleeve. You should beep here. So he's describing you, I'm not going to describe the whole thing, but step by step you're testing one you should get continuity here to one one then number two is the ring and number three is the tip okay it looks like the tip only goes to one of the cables as far as i can see number there's only three showing on the af out cable on the af in it looks like we've got number one on the shield and number two on the ring you can see that yeah so obviously I'm gonna do this test it see if I can get it working I want to have a go at FT8 using the Zygu I may as well try the C19 it says here the Zygu C19 is an Adobe device for your Zygu G90 transceiver that is connected via the ACC port to your Zygu G90 it has a separate ports for the PTT and AF audio audio also it works with the uh, amplifier XPA amplifier so the other thing you're going to need is your software programming cable that came with the radio hopefully but otherwise you can buy these uh, just put in G90 firmware cable and this will come up because when you scroll further down once you've made the cable you do have to plug that in as well to the cat cable that is on the left of the head unit on the radio so just on the left here there's this connector, this is the bottom connector. You're gonna to have to plug that in there to configure it. And so yeah, I just thought I'd put this information, I'll put the link in for the device that I purchased, and let's learn together on this. And I'll get FT8 working. But I think once you you know, once you've made this cable, then it's e it's just as easy as then you can just connect up your cables. Let's go to the unit, connect your cables up, and away you go. Fingers crossed. Bye for now. 7-3, all the best.